Nevada right now is in a state about like the Witwatersrand and Basin was in the late 1920s or early 1930s. Right now, Nevada's gold production has peaked, and that's about where the Vitch was, um, say, 40 years after its discovery in 1886. Um, there was a very pivotal moment in the Witwatersrand Basin where it was recognized that some newly developed geophysical techniques, in that case magnetics, were able to identify strata buried in the ground and project them under covered areas, and it opened up a whole new uh, realm of exploration in the Witwatersrand. Uh, people began to consider what these strata meant and started drilling targets that were completely blind. And in doing so, discovered several new gold fields, which gave the Witwatersrand Basin another 70 years of life. Um, Nevada is at that point. Uh, it's about 40 years since the Carlin mine started producing. The Carlin deposits in Nevada have really been the life source of uh, gold production in Nevada for for the last 40 years. So we're at about the same position that Vitz was. And it's a pivotal moment because uh, it's going to take a new technique, new, uh, new ideas to really move exploration forward. And I believe that uh, some of the experience that uh, I, I bring and as well as a few other people we'll be working with, um, I think we can take this next leap and do some really innovative uh, exploration in a well-endowed gold stream that by some is, is considered to be played out to a degree.